Arnold is a, is a star in every sense of the word. This is my kind of a day. <laughs> <laughs> a star is not only to sell tickets, he's got to take command of the set and be a leader. We move. Five meter spread. No sound. Well, working with Arnold Schwarzenegger is a pleasure. Consummate professional. Totally prepared. When you come. All he asks for you is to be prepared as much as he does. Yes? All he asks you for you is to work as hard as he's working. That's good. Okay. Good. Now, see, that looks like you're diving. Yeah. You know where you're going. Right. Okay. And that's fair. People look at him as a natural leader. It helps enormously in a movie company if somebody like Arnold you know, walks out there and deals with the water, deals with the mud, deals with the rain, and all the, the mosquitoes, the heat, the whatever, and takes it on like, hey, what are we going to do today? And that attitude spreads. Bang something! Ah. <laughs> Son of a bitch, I grabbed the fuzz exactly the bush. It has all the, the thorns. The one you banged into <laughs> had to be one of those? He always has a word for somebody. He always stops and pays attention and finds out what, what's going on around him with the people, even the, you know, the peons and uh, the lesser actors. Arnold is my favorite actor in the whole world. It is true. It is true. It is true. Das is correct. There are people who go right through a script and just make sure that every decent moment, every good line gets plucked out, and no matter who's got it, it winds up, you know, his agents call up and say, that line, can that get moved? Arnold has never been like that. Arnold sponsors other people. Arnold, Arnold tries to make the people around him look good and feel good. He's great that way. So Arnold said to me, John, he goes, I want to meet the writers. I go, okay, he goes, today. I go, okay, where do you want to meet him? He goes, let's go to your house. I'll meet them in the steam room, right? So I said, that sounds like a good idea. So I called up the writers. And I said, Arnold wants to meet you today. You better bring your bathing suits or a towel. And we're sitting there in the steam room, Arnold and I, and the guys came in, you know, and they had their yellow pads, and doodly they were taking notes in the steam room. Originally, we, we had uh, envisioned a person who was, had, in, had an intense physicality, but was a little smaller in stature, but uh, I think Arnold's worked out just fine. Let's say a little bit of something about who this guy is. Oh, he's like Joel Silva. He's like really ballsy. He's the top of the line. He's incredible. <laughs> you know, there's an accessibility to him. You can, you can talk to him. He doesn't walk away, he doesn't go in his trailer. Um, he offers you something to eat. I remember the Mexican guide that we had, he took his kids out pony riding one day. You think, this guy has gone through and known things I never will. And so you assume an intimidation factor. But in fact, it's not there with him. He's very open, he's very accessible. And he's a lot of fun. He just sits there chomping a cigar, he tells jokes. Where's Miss Dogie? Certainly, a lot of cigar smoking was put in the script because you could never find Arnold without a cigar in his hand anyway. It's John, do we do the getting up or uh, about? Arnold, of course, had these giant stogies he's smoking. I, being the athlete that I am and the clean living person that I am, never in a million years would let tobacco touch my lips. Absolutely not. But I sat there in that chair getting a whiff of this great, great, this aroma of this stogie. And uh, Arnold eventually, golly, you want one? Sure, why not? I was hooked. That was all over. After that, I had a stogie or two. And within a few days, Arnold had a box of stogies delivered to me, you know, and uh, got me hooked. And shame on you, Arnold. See, my oh, weapons Arnold. are being used against me. <laughs> okay. Well, he's a living comic book. You just look at him. He's, he's a man mountain. It's the pages out, out of a well-inked strip just poof walking there he is he walks in the room i enjoy working with iron joel because it's a it's really a family and i'm working with a great team of guys and uh, we're having a good time down there <laughs> <laughs>